What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in, uh, well, welcome to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing, of course. And this channel is for a smarter and more sustainable approach to fitness and martial arts. For older guys, uh, I'm 41 guys. I'm a judoka, brown belt. Been doing this, been doing judo for about five years. Brazilian jiu-jitsu for about six prior to that. And of course, martial arts my whole life. Hopefully you guys join me on my journey to the black belt and to the world title. Okay, so let's get started. Today, it's Friday follow along. So every Friday, I'm gonna have a video where I'm essentially, um, you know, showing you guys some exercises for, uh, you know, for different, uh, you know, different mu uh, muscle groups or meal preps and such, and then you guys can follow along, okay? Now, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because we're not we're gonna be here forever, but definitely I'll show you guys what to do, and um, from there you can just pause it, do what you have to do, but you'll see what I mean. So today, we're stretching, okay? So this is a stretching video, and it's for the lower body, right? Some, some stretches for the hips, uh, you know, the quads, the hams, the calves, and the glutes, of course. So let's start with the first one, right? The first one I do is the pigeon stretch. So what you do is one leg in front. Of course, you, you bend it, right? You bend the leg, your knee in this position. And the one in the back here, it could either be straight like this, or you could have it slightly bent. It's up to you, okay? So from here, what you're gonna do is, me, I keep it straight, and I come down. Now, when you stretch, the important thing, guys, is to be warmed up. So you have to be warmed up, you have to break a sweat. I'm already warmed up, so I could get into this no problem. And from here, okay, it's about comfortable tension. I talked about this in uh, one of my other videos, so I'm sure, uh, um, well, you just have to look for it. Or maybe, maybe Chris, Chris, maybe you can link that somewhere. Uh, you know, have it pop up or something. Okay, so here's the thing. Comfortable tension, what that means is that you want it, it, it means literally what it means. Comfortable tension. So it has to be comfortable. It can't be painful, okay? And um, you start where you are and it's about holding the stretch for 60 seconds. So you have to hold the stretch for 60 seconds. That's the best way to do about it. Most people actually don't hold the stretch long enough, okay? So the more you, you, you do the stretch, obviously, like the better it's gonna be, the more flexibility you'll have. So you're in this position, and of course you can stretch out like this. Hold this for 60 seconds, and of course, from there, you would do the other side. So I'm gonna do the other side. I'm not sure if that was 60 seconds, but you guys get what I mean, so, all right? There you go. Some people have it like this right, because of lack of flexibility, and they just come down a little bit like this, right? Whereas me, I'm able to, essentially, you may have the foot here at a 90 degree angle, or you can have it slightly bent. The important thing, guys, is really to feel it in the glutes, okay? There you go, 60 seconds. I'm not, I'm not counting here, but let's just say, right? And comfortable tension, breathe, relax, it's not supposed to hurt. It's not supposed to be um, uncomfortable, right? Compared to, as opposed to what most people will tell you uh, in martial arts schools, especially guys. Like, you know, they just, I used to do Taekwondo and I did that for, for three years. And holy shit, we stretched and stretched, but it was painful, you know? We're, we're, we're always trying to push our limits and it's not the right way to do things, really. Okay, so. Let's say this was 60 seconds, boom, done. All right, next one up. You're going to go on your knees, this one knee here. So this is actually my right knee. And now what I want you to do is I want you to put the weight on this part right here, on the knee that's in front. The other one is stretched out, the leg, straight. And now I want you to angle off. So we, you see my hips here? They come back like that, right? I want you to feel it. You're gonna feel how it's going to, it's a ball and socket joint, the hip, right? So you're gonna feel it push into the side a little bit and 
I want you to stay there and play with it. You can move around, right? You can move a little bit more in front. This here, it's a little bit more mobility based than flexibility based. All right, so I want you to feel it in the hip. Put your weight on your knee, so you're gonna have to move forward a little bit. Okay, stay there for about one minute. Okay, next one. There you go. Okay, let's say that was a minute, right? So you stay here. This is more mobility. Uh, for mobility, you could stay a bit longer. Uh, 60 minutes is really like the minimum that you should stay in a stretch, right? If you really want the full benefits, uh, you could stay longer, of course. So it depends on um, how, how much you need it. If you're really tight somewhere, you should definitely spend more time. So this here is mobility. Mobility, I usually like to spend two minutes, right? But depends how much time you have. If you don't have enough time, it's okay, guys. Two minutes. There you go. Okay, next stretch is quads, right? Now, on the side here, grab your leg and hold it. So, you know, I suggest using a timer, right? You're on your phone, or if you have a separate timer, some sort of kitchen timer, that's cool too. And you hold that 60 seconds, let's say. Other side. Oh, and this is actually one of the guys in the community who asked me to make him this video. I thought it was a good idea. So I'm doing it. So that's the thing, guys. If you guys have suggestions, um, leave them in the comments. Email me. Find me on IG, right? Uh, OG Fit 79. It's yeah, I think it's OG Fit dot 79 or OG dot Fit 79. But the link is down below, and then on uh, you can add me. Uh, there's, I have a Facebook page and also a Facebook group. So find me there. The links are all down below. Okay. So once you hold this, and oh, so that's what I that's what I was saying. If you guys find me there and you um, are more available to, um, to talk to. Uh, on, on those platforms. So you guys could just send me a text, uh, you know, direct message me, and, or you could send me an email if you want. And if you have any questions or anything like that, like I'll, um, I'll do my best to answer. And if it's, uh, if it's something I feel that, that uh, that's gonna be beneficial for everybody, then I'll definitely like make a video, you know? So there you go. Let's say that was a minute. All right, so the next one is get into the lunge position, okay, except um, stretch out the back leg. This leg here in front, have your foot flat, and then stretch out like this. Okay, and what I want you to do at the same time as you do this is that I want you to push on your knee. I'll go on the other side afterwards but you push on your knee here towards the outside. You could play around with it. And your foot could angle off a little bit to the side, all right? Opening up the hips a little bit and getting a stretch in the, uh, in the psoas here. Okay, so let's say that was 60 seconds on the other side, guys. So this is what I mean, you're here, right? See my foot? So it's flat. Then I go like this. Push out. Once again, comfortable tension, guys. Not, you know, pain <laughs> or discomfort, right? There you go. So let's say that was 60 seconds. Good, done. So the next one, I go into the splits. There you go. Once again, it's not about pain, guys. It's about comfortable tension. So there you go, breathe. 
I su- and that's the thing. I suggest listening to some kind of podcast or something while you're stretching. Unless you don't want to, that's fine too. So stay in here, six seconds. So once you're done with the splits, guys, I want you to go off to one side, pick a side, because we're gonna do both anyway. And there you go. It's the, uh, the side split. Okay. There you go. Let's say that was 60 seconds. Come back. Okay. I believe you guys should stretch every single day, right? If not every other day. The more you stretch, the better off you'll be. Better for recovery, range of motion. And more range of motion means more speed. More speed means more power. Okay, so let's say that was 60 seconds. Boom, so now I wanna show you guys something cool, right? Sit down, arms back. What I want you to do is, okay, internally, bring your knee inside, put the other one on top of it, and leave it there. There you go. So you stay here for 60 seconds or more, right? If you need more time, you need more time. And this is an ongoing thing, guys. So it's not about, it's not about doing this once a week for, you know, for two hours or whatnot. It's really daily maintenance. Think of it that way, right? You exercise, which is good, but when you're exercising, you're, um, you're tearing down muscle. Right, you're creating damage and stuff like that, and your body's gonna adapt, it's gonna overcompensate and become stronger, right? But you don't wanna other side guys, you don't wanna become carved out of stone. <laughs> you know, because here's the thing. I don't know if you guys ever heard this saying here, but uh, the tree that doesn't bend breaks. Okay, so I don't know if uh, bamboo is a good example, but uh, bamboos are, are flexible, right? They go with the wind kind of thing, so they don't break. Or be water, like Bruce Lee used to say, right? It could flow, water could flow, or it could crash. And you know, if you put it in a cup, it becomes a cup. If you put it in a teapot, it becomes a teapot. And be water, my friend. You guys know I'm, I'm heavily Bruce Lee inspired, right? He's my hero. Uh, and one of the things is that if you guys notice the intro, I mean, come on, you, know, like, you must recognize what, uh, what song that is, right? Uh, what theme? But let me know in the comments if you guys know what movie that's from, okay? And if you notice my logo, that's also taken from Bruce Lee too. <laughs> okay, so let's say that was a minute. All right, perfect. So. There you go, guys. Now, there's one last stretch. Uh, you gotta stretch your calves too, okay? Because if you're tight anywhere, it's gonna create some kind of muscle imbalance. So I really suggest like um, taking the time to stretch everything, right? And give more attention to spots, uh, muscle groups that are tight on you. So a calf stretch, really simple. Watch, this is the wall here. Come back and there you go. Stretch. So if my leg is in the back, you're gonna feel it on the back leg, right? So let's say this was a minute, then you stretch over to this one. And voila. So these are some basic stretches that you do. Like uh, I, do, I do these stretches pretty often. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that helped, right? But try that, be consistent. Anything that you do, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? The important thing is that you're consistent with it. And of course, it can't be something that's completely retarded uh, in the sense that uh, it, you, know, you don't wanna get hurt, right? So get that done. I'm gonna make another video um, you know, on upper body and stuff like that and mobility. I mean, there's so many things, right? But this is a, a first one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So like the video, comment down below, subscribe. What do you think? What do you guys do? 
uh, try this, let me know how it goes. And I wanna make a huge shout out to my boy, Christian Pham, right? He's the one who's uh, responsible for all this video editing and uh, the, the better quality of production and video and all that that you guys see now. So a big shout out to him. Uh, show him some love, go follow him at CK Familia, right? He'll link it down below. So voila guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.